Hello, I am Roy Finasege and you're watching New Vision TV News. Now, the festive season did not end well for some Ugandans when now nursing wounds at Uganda's National Referral Hospital, Mulago, as many got involved in road accidents. Some are still curing stomach pains. They got from eating too much food. Our reporters, Timothy Marundi and Nora Mutesi, have the story. At Uganda National Referral Hospital, Mulago, is where many who did not enjoy the festive season due to healthy complications are today. Eating varieties of food on Christmas Day has always been a norm for many Ugandans, but last year's Christmas will not be forgotten by 38-year-old Nohu Cheyune, a resident of Kasokoso, Wakiso district. Cheyune, a casual worker, is battling food poisoning. He was admitted in Mulago Hospital on January 1st after visiting the hospital on 29th December due to terrible stomach pains. His wife is nursing him. Another festive horror hit 35 year old Musa Matovu who was involved in a road accident on the first day of January 2019. A reckless driver nearly left Matovu crippled. Even though he was unable to talk to our reporters, his wife, Mrs. Matovu, said Musa was knocked down by a double cabin vehicle at 2 a.m. on the first day of January along Hotel Africana in Kampala. She says her family is headed for a rough year since Musa has been the sole breadwinner of the family. The major causes of road accidents in the country today are border borders. Almost half of the patients at Mulago's casualty ward are victims to border borders. Border, border accidents, of course, there's are accidents, road mm. traffic accidents in terms of border borders, in terms of those who have cars knocking one another, mm. but also there are people fight. Of course, mm. normally people fight when they take uh, some one or two or one too many uh, beers and so forth, they, they fight. Others you know, fall off from chairs and so forth and so forth. Those, those accidents we get, yes. But uh, I have not prepared the statistics of what happened, but I can give you somebody to know. According to the Ministry of Health Management Information System, between 2015 and 2016 injuries accounted for 768,645 out of 53,561,472 total outpatient cases. This report was compiled by Timothy Murungi and Nora Motesi for New Vision TV. Moving on, President Yuri Museveni has ordered for a detailed probe into circumstances under which a 65-year-old Rwandan refugee, Rowlett Buchuni, was killed by gunmen at his home. Now, in his New Year message to the nation on Monday, the President of Uganda called for more scrutiny into the murder, among other crimes that happened in the country during the festive season. Speaking to New Vision yesterday, State Minister for Internal Affairs Mario Biga Kanya said, the Criminal Investigations Department has embarked on investigations into Buchuni's murder, and the preliminary report will be produced next week. Now, the Uganda National Examinations Board has finalized marking the 2018 primary living examinations and results are expected to be released soon. According to NEB Executive Secretary Dan Odong, the exact date on which the results will be released has not yet been confirmed. Last year, PLE results were released on January 12th. Before releasing the results, UNEB has to brief the Minister of Education and Sports. A total of 640,860 
primary seven pupils sat for last year's examinations in November. Out of the total number of candidates, 488,240 224 are from government-aided schools, while 152,466 are from private schools. Last year's PL examinations were conducted at 12,391 centers, grouped under 8,081 seating centers countrywide. And in our sports news, despite Uganda Cranes captain Denso Nyagon and seven others being dropped from the 10-man list of 2018 African Player of the Year, Uganda still has a chance to work out with different accolades at the awards gala slated for January 8th in Dakar, Senegal. For starters, Uganda is part of the three nominees for the national te teams of the year alongside Madagascar and Mauritania who qualified for AFCON finals for the first time. Onyango Nyango has not conceded any goal in the Afghan qualifiers, stands a chance to be part of the best this year. FUFA boss Moses Magogo, his part of the CAF executive, also has a chance of walking out with the Wudenekachu Tesema Trophy of the Federation President of the Year and the Platinum Award. In the men's shortlist, reigning player of the year, Mohamed Salah, his Liverpool Club meant Sadio Mane and 2015 winner Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang have made the top three for the most prestigious individual accolade in African football. The award will be handed out on January 8th in Dakar, Senegal. You're still watching New Vision TV News and in our Daily Pearl of Africa series, we look at the falls in Ginger known as Itanda Falls. Now, Itanda Falls are located in Ginger District along the Nile River. It is known as one of the most hidden jewels of Uganda because getting to it is situated. It's not easy. However, the falls offer various activities like rafting, boat riding, sightseeing and also memorable vacation. Let's take a look. It is never easy for those who are not immediate locals to find Itanda Falls, but when you reach here, the site is incredible. This hidden treasure in the Pearl of Africa is particularly located in Ginger District along River Nile. Just like the fast flowing water at the Nile, Itanda's water pushes through the rocks as it flows. These falls also have a huge water hyphen resting on its come waters. Visitors who explore these falls engage in rafting and the brave ones even swim. But the rocks are very slippery because of the moss that grows on them. The sharp rocks and the rocket-like current can trap even the most experienced. Now for more Pearl of Africa stories, visit our website, which is www.newvision.co.ug. Our newspaper, The Sun Division, is also another home of adventures, so grab your copy every Sunday for Pearl of Africa stories. That's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch my news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website, which is www.newvision.co.ug forward slash video. You can also follow us on social media. Facebook is The New Vision. Twitter is at New Vision Wire. Instagram is at New Vision Wire. And our YouTube channel is New Vision TV. Catch up with me on my Twitter handle. I am Rothy The Voice. Thank you for watching.